Hey guys, Rander and Shades here, exercise my first amendment rights vlog style. Now, as the title says, I'm going to talk about something that may come off as shocking to some, but I, Shades, like rap. I am a fan of rap. Mainly rap from the late 80s to the mid 90s. That's when I think rap was at its best. The old school days, the golden age. I guess. Like, uh, like, you know, you can see my Notorious B.I.G. poster over there, and with me wearing a Rage Against the Machine shirt, obviously I'm gonna like the stuff. Now, what exactly do I like about it? Well, I like th most of those guys' ability to... to speak rhythmically and not lose breath, which is what is known as flow. A lot of the old-school guys have really great flow and wonderful abilities in that retrospect. And I also like how a lot of them have something to say, you know? They actually are conveying a message and not just, you know, bragging about how much money they have or about, you know, fucking these bitches and hoes every night and any club anthems or anything like that, you know, the kind of stuff that, you know, the kind of stereotypes that are placed on rap that a lot of really ignorant douchebags, which I like to refer to as rock elitists, like to make to rap. Just because you're not a metal elitist, it doesn't mean you're necessarily going to get off easy from me. There will always be something, some flaw in you that I may or may not point out in you. And this is going to be one of those things. Like, I know metal elitists, you know, that think that, you know, metal is the only true music are going to fucking bitch about rap and just throw around these stereotypes that I'm going to debunk, I guess. Like, you can go on YouTube and, t and watch a Why Rap Sucks video and just come up with just all these fucking generic text-to-video rants, you know, given the most cliche of fucking insults and putting it to the background of, like, some generic as shit death metal song or something of that nature. But yeah, the main problem I have with people who bash rap, really, you just don't really know a lot about it. Like, you're only attacking the mainstream. Like, you're only attacking the young money people. You're only attacking Lil Wayne. You're only attacking Nicki Minaj. You're only attacking Drake. You're only attacking fucking Rick Ross or Big Sean or fucking Soldier Boy as if he's still relevant. Honestly, who the hell cares about Soldier Boy anymore? It's all been said and done. We get it. Soldier Boy sucks. We get it. All those people I just named suck. We get it. But they don't encompass the entire rap genre. Like I said, I believe rap was at, was at its best in the late 80s until the mid-90s. And there are a lot of, you know, good underground acts today. Like, uh, like Tech 9 Hobson, Diabolic, Immortal Technique, uh, the Dilated Peoples. You know, I, I, I could go on for quite a while listing a lot of my favorite rappers. Not just underground, but, you know, old school as well. Like, my favorite rapper, if you asked, I would definitely say KRS-One. Because he really does a good job at telling it like it is. If you listen to songs like MCs Act Like They Don't Know, or Represent the Real Hip Hop, or any of his work in Boogie Down Productions, then then you'd know he's, he's for real. Another problem I have with people who bash rap is, you know, they always, you know, say that they have no talent. First of all, talent is subjective. What you refer to as talent, someone could refer to something completely different as talent. Like, what I refer to talent as is the ability to excel at doing something, whatever it may be. Like, you know... Like Harris one for example, he's a very talented rapper, producer, writer. He's very talented in the game. Just like, you know, 
how like a uh, somebody such as just go over to my hangover poster there like uh, Zach Galifianakis, I think he's a very talented comedic actor. Talent comes in many different shapes and forms. It doesn't come in just fucking playing a guitar, you know? You don't need to just play fucking rock and roll in order to be talented. In order to have talent. Like I said, I think, you know, the flow ability... The ability to not run out of breath and speak rhythmically and actually convey a message, I think that is really talented. And I am actually quite envious that I'm not able to do that myself. This is where the jealousy argument actually fucking applies. Like, I'm not going to throw the jealousy argument at you because then I'd be no better than somebody who wanted to bitch at me f for saying that I don't particularly like friggin... Uh, Lady Gaga, Justin Bieber kind of people. But let's move on here. Another common stereotype is the topics of the songs. How all they talk about is, you know, sex and money and fucking bitches. If you listen to a lot of the older rap, you'll, you'd notice that, you know, like I said, they actually convey a message. Such as, you know, poverty and, you know racism and, uh, you know, other hardships in life, you know, and also, you know, these stories talking about, you know, how they were once, you know, living in this really, you know, hard life, and now they have a chance to actually, you know, make a name for themselves and give money back to their community. And also there are songs, you know, talking about what are known as whack MCs, which are basically what the Young Money people basically are to me. Whack MCs. And KRS-One, getting back to him, he does a great job at talking about whack MCs. Just like in what is probably his most well-known song, MCs Act Like They Don't Know. That song is as real as it gets. And if, and if you're going to get on his case just for not singing or playing real instruments, then fuck you. You don't know what you're talking about. Like, getting back to talent, talent can come in being able to produce a well-crafted, creatively sampled, energetic beat. You know? That's talent, too. And don't fucking thumb it down just because it's not playing a guitar or playing fucking a fucking drum set or anything like that, you can still be very talented, be very musical, without having to fucking play fucking rock and roll or fucking metal. Okay? The last thing I wanted to talk about is how hypocritical a lot of these rock elitists can be if, you know, they're talking about the topics of the songs or they talk about, you know... Rap rappers that, you know, die, whether it be for shooting, like in the case of Biggie and Tupac, or from, you know, an STD, like Easy e who died from AIDS. Well, didn't, uh, didn't Freddie Mercury die of AIDS? Didn't, uh, Jimi Hendrix die from, like, a drug overdose? Didn't Kurt Cobain fucking shoot himself? I mean, I know... Pac and Biggie, they didn't shoot themselves, but they were still shot. And Kurt Cobain shooting himself, it's still shooting nonetheless. So you're complete fucking hypocrites in that regard. And the song topics, like I was getting at, you know, you think it's stupid that, you know, rappers have songs about sex. I mean, they're not all about sex, but, hmm, I wonder what the song Whole Lot of Love by Led Zeppelin's about. Hmm. You know, isn't that, you know, about... You know, need and love, you know. So, why is it okay for a rock band to sing about sex but not for a rapper? So, another point in your fucking hypocrisy. So that's all I got for you. Hopefully you see things from my perspective and not fucking flame me just for having a different opinion about something than you. If you don't like rap, fine. I'm not forcing you to. But, you know, actually do some research. Listen to more than just what the radio feeds you to actually make a, you know, a valid argument about the genre as a whole. 
We get it. The young money people, we get it. They're really shitty rappers. But does that mean that rap as a whole sucks? No. Think about it. I'm Shades, and I'll see you next time.